This video's featured affiliate is PTO Link, the easy way to connect your tractor's PTO shaft to your equipment. Order yours using the link in the description and receive a 5% manufacturer's discount. I just drove by a tractor dealer here in Florida. He's a Mahindra dealer and a Massey dealer, and I bet between both brands, he didn't have five tractors sitting on his lot. And it occurred to me more than ever, it's really incumbent upon somebody that's new and buying a tractor that they take the responsibility of really understanding what their needs are before they start visiting dealers. And the easiest way to do that is to have a property map of your particular property so you can look at what some of your needs are. Here's an example of the property that my son and I have. It's 17 and a half acres. I got the picture simply by going on the tax and auditor site, putting in my address and it brought up the aerial view. Now by looking at that aerial view, I can identify the areas that are cut, the areas that are woods, the area that's finished groomed, and I can begin to evaluate what my needs are. That way when I do go to a dealer, I can start getting different opinions from dealer salespeople as to what they think might be the most appropriate. That way I might not get myself into a situation where they end up selling me a cab tractor and I really need an open station or vice versa. The big concern I have today is that if you go into a dealer and don't do any homework yourself in advance of what your needs might be, then they might be in a situation where because they have so few tractors on their lot that they'll sell you what they have not what you truly need. So take the time to get a property map, analyze that map, figure out what it is you wanna do, short-term and long-term, and you'll be well on your way to finding the perfect new tractor for yourself.